Hi sixth graders, I am so looking forward to finishing this year up with my current seventh graders, enjoying my summer first off, and then coming back to meet all of you in the fall. Um, I'm gonna share a little bit about seventh grade language with you today. So the first thing I wanna talk about is writing. We do three major pieces of writing in seventh grade. Uh, we start the way up, year off with a memoir. It is a wonderful way for me to get to know you. Uh, we write a literary essay in the middle of the year and then we end the year with a research paper. Um, that's our, our big wrap up for seventh grade writing. Uh, it works as a final in a sense. Um, and you get quite a bit of choice in your topic when it comes to that research paper. Here are some current seventh graders sharing a little bit about their memoirs from this year. Hi, I'm Carson and in English at the beginning of the year you will start by writing a memoir. I wrote mine about how music has impacted my life. Oh, hi, I'm Delaney and I wrote mine about my brother and he did an Ironman triathlon and it taught me to do my best. We also do lots of reading in seventh grade language. We do some fictional reading. Um, we read a book called The K. Here's a little info about that one. I am Mackenzie and I'm a current seventh grader and one of my favorite books to read in seventh grade is The K. It's about a young boy that gets stranded on an island and has to find his way off the island and back to his parents. We also do some lit circles at the end of the year. This is my favorite way to end the school year. It's a little more relaxed. You get to do some reading you enjoy. We have a stack of six different books that uh, you get to choose from for lit circles when we get there. Hi, I'm Lily Alderman, and it's at the end of seventh grade language, you'll be reading, uh, you'll be doing book clubs. Uh, there are six groups, and uh, I read Swallowing Stones. It was a really good book. My name is Drake Nowicki. At the end of the school year, you get to read Lit Circle books. It's very lit. There are six to choose from. I've chose the book Swallowing Stones. It's a very exciting book, but it does have a sad ending. Or so I'm told. So one of my favorite things that we do in seventh grade language is use interactive notebooks. And you may have done these in the past. Um, they serve as our textbook. The language textbooks that we have are huge. They are super heavy. You'll end up going to the chiropractor as soon as uh, you use them once. So we do interactive notebooks instead. And it's just basically a spiral notebook. But it works as our textbook. It's where we keep all of the work that we do all year long. So. Now it's probably kind of hard to see here, but as we work through the year and we learn, we add new things and we continue to build and to build on our knowledge. And um, this is a really good resource to have at the end of the year and even to keep in the eighth grade. Um, it's a great thing to be able to go back to and pull from. So um, one last thing, um, iPads are really huge. We do uh, a lot of work on Schoology. It's really important that you have your iPad and have them charged. You're gonna hear that over and over from seventh grade teachers today and next fall. Um, Hi, I'm Tori, and you're gonna need your iPad more in seventh grade than sixth grade, so make sure it's charged. Um, so again, I'm super excited to have you. Um, what questions do you have for me? I'd be glad to answer them for you now.